The first surface they'll test is much softer than steel and way heavier. <laughs> well, you want to pop one of those out of there and into here and we'll clamp it in. So why are we using a lead target? Well, the bullets we're using are coated in copper and copper is harder than lead. So I'm hoping that copper will hold the bullet together well enough to not splatter when it hits this and it can continue on its way. And will the speed be lethal? For these tests, they'll start by measuring the angle of deflection off just one surface. The bullet, if it bounces, should pass through the backboard. This red line I've taped on the uh, table surface here is our angle of incidence. It is the angle at which our bullet will be impacting the target. What's it going to do when it gets there? I'm kind of curious about that myself. Range is hot. The bullet they're using is the fully copper-coated Total Metal Jacket. Three, two, one. Ah, I can see the hole. Really? It's at a wonderful angle. Really? Yeah. Providing the bullet stayed more or less in one piece, this looks like a step in the right direction. Look, I can see what a 45 degree angle of reflection is, and I think we're at like 42. That's far steeper than I thought we'd get. The only thing we need to know now is how fast it's going. Well, let's get to the high speed and do some math. But the ultra slow motion shows something they hadn't expected. A real tumbling piece of uh, twisted metal at that point. Yeah, that surprises me. Now, Adam determines the speed of that twisted lump of metal. Well, all right, here's the math. Our bullet, after it struck the lead plate, was only going 171 feet per second, 116 miles per hour when it went through the backboard. That's not lethal. Lost almost all its energy. Yeah. Time to change up to a surface that might make a difference. Next up is one of these cinder block pavers. Why a paver? Well, this material is soft enough that it'll allow the bullet to dig into it and then have to climb out of the groove, giving us the angle we want. And the other thing is that generally you don't have big blocks of lead sitting around for bullets to ricochet off. But you might well have a cinder block building, and I'd like to see whether this works any better or not. Good to go. All right, you got a prediction for the angle for the paver? No. No? No. If you were to have a prediction, you had any idea what it would be? No. You think it's going to be steeper than lead? No. You think it's going to be less steep than lead then? I don't know. <laughs> Just pull the trigger. Three, two, one. The bullet was squashed, but not shattered. It's now up to Adam to check on the angle. Huh. <laughs> it's exactly one half of 45 degrees, 22 and a half. That's pretty cool. And if the bullet is talking, then Adam is listening. So we're wondering, maybe we're making the bullets do too much work. Suppose we shoot them into their surface at a shallower angle of incidence. Maybe they'll store more of their energy for subsequent hits and eventually get all the way back around to the shooter. So we're going to take that 45 degree angle of incidence, split it in half, and start shooting them into the stuff at 22 and a half degrees. 22 and a half degrees into a paver in three. Two, a one. <laughs> I don't know, I just had this warm feeling about how much I like our job right now. With the new shallow angle, they're looking for speed, and it seems like they've found it. We have penetration. No! Yeah, went through the wood. That means it's got a lot of velocity left to it. Awesome! But they'll need to confirm if they're close to a kill shot. All right, here we go, high speed. High speed is the objective. The number they're chasing for terminal velocity is 300 feet per second. That's the best one yet. Coming off that paver, that bullet was going 488 feet per second, 332 miles an hour. Well, that could be lethal, then. I think so. I think it's one of our most promising hits yet. That's an awesome speed. So where to from here? In different tests, they got speed and direction. The trick is putting them together. And Adam's almost convinced he's got the answer. 
So Jamie's likeness is brought into play. <laughs> which is which? As are the two extra ricochet pavers. First bullet hit occurs on this paving stone at 22 and a half degrees. Now we know from doing this a couple times before that it's gonna bounce off this paving stone at about 12 degrees into this one. Now I have this one positioned so the bullet will hit this stone at actually about 30 degrees. It's a little bit sharper, but because the bullet's got less energy, I think it's gonna dig less into this stone and perhaps have a higher angle of reflection. Now it's into this one where really it's anybody's guess. I'm positioning it roughly about there and I'm hoping that's enough to get the bullet back to Jamie's cutout. Now, the original myth says that each ricochet was 90 degrees off steel, so that's busted. But let's see if they can bring this one home with a less acute angle. One bullet, three paving stones, and a cardboard hoosier, and a cartridge in a pear tree. For the gold, three, two, one. The odds of success seem astronomically small, but it looks like the planets have almost aligned. I see one mark, I see two marks, I see three marks, a stone's got hit right. I see a mark right here in my chest. No! <laughs> Where's the bullet? That's a... What's that? <laughs> That's it. <laughs> it's still hot. Here, feel that. Ow, yeah. That's it. <laughs> Despite all those odd angles, they actually got the triple ricochet. The need now is for speed. Dead smack center, that second hit's so pretty. Starting to slow down. Three. Three. Oh, and now we're really slowed down. Oh, I think it's bouncing off the table. There it is. <laughs> Don't I'm, I'm gonna make it. <laughs> God, you get tired of it. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can. Kill! Here it comes! Even with cement slabs, they couldn't match up the speed with the angle. He hit the third paving stone at an angle of 60 degrees and left it at oh, 60 degrees, just like a mirror, eventually hitting Jamie in the chest. Unfortunately, by the time he hit Jamie in the chest, he was only going 200 feet per second or about 135 miles an hour. Not lethal! I'm through with you. 